Hey everyone, I'm Shay Hess, and on this episode, we're bonding with beets. First, we head over to the McCarran Park Green Market where Lauren Yudovich of Garden of Eve tells us everything we need to know about these lovely roots. Then it's over to Rye, where chef and owner Cal Elliott shows us how he makes his beautiful and inventive beet ravioli. Finally, we're back to the kitchen for a beet salad so fancy you'd never believe how easy it is. Located on the North Fork of Long Island, Garden of Eve is a certified organic farm that provides freshly harvested produce to the New York City area through farmers markets and CSAs. Let's find out about their bounty of beets. Beets are a fantastic roots. The whole plant is edible, so you've got this delicious sweet part down here and then the leafy greens up here. And the beauty of the beet is that you can eat all of this. You want to prepare them separately. You okay. can break them apart like this. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then um, you can roast, steam, bake, or boil these. And these are great sautéed. This looks a little intimidating to me, this part right yeah. here. Oh, it's not so bad. Um, you can just scrub it off uh -huh. um, under running water and it's ready to go. Roast them whole and then when you take them out of the oven, you can just slip the skin off. Common varieties of beets include red, golden, and candy cane. And although most beets are harvested in the summer and fall, Garden of Eve has them available all year round because beets can be stored in root cellars over the winter months. What should this I look is, for? This is a good beet. This is nice, firm, no weird spots or um, fuzzies. These are technical terms. You yeah, <laughs> I'll know not to look for fuzzies. Oh, you, can, you can tell on sight and by feel. Go ahead and give it a squeeze. Oh, it's very firm. It's, firm. Mm -hmm. it's heavy. Mm -hmm. These were just picked this week. So then what about the difference in size? Does it matter flavor-wise? It's going to affect your cooking time so Thank that you. if you were roasting these whole, this one would be done a lot later than this. But uh -huh. just insert a knife into the center um, and if it's tender. Oh, that's really simple. Just like baking a cake. Exactly. And let's say I use the beet greens. How long can I hold on to the, the beet? You'd be surprised at how well they keep in the fridge in your little crisper drawer. They'll they'll hold up for, for weeks on end. They'll start to look a little shriveled and strange, but as long as they're not slimy or bruised and, and squishy, you're good to go. Cal Elliott has headed up a Michelin star winning kitchen, and now he's got his own restaurant, Rye, a Williamsburg hotspot where the menu is seasonal and the drinks are delicious. Cal gives us the lowdown on the wonderful, underappreciated beet. Should people be intimidated by beets? Absolutely not. No home cook should, should be afraid of beets because um, they're so versatile. They're hard to overcook, um, they're beautifully roasted. Everyone should eat beets. So, today, what are we going to be making? We're going to be making a beet ravioli. Our take is a little different. Instead of using pasta, we actually use the raw beets as the ravioli. And then we stuff it with uh, herb goat cheese. We also serve roasted beets in the salad. So you see two different types of texture and sweetness. That sounds kind of nice. awesome. Yeah. That sounds really, really good. Cal takes us back to the kitchen where he shows us how his beet ravioli starts with thinly sliced raw beets. These were just sliced off the mandolin, so you can oh. almost see right through them and you can see their pattern, their growing pattern. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to be a little fibrous and they're going to have a little crunch to them. They're really beautiful. So these are our beet raviolis. You just basically lay two out, mm -hmm. uh, give it a little egg wash, put some goat cheese filling in, cover it, seal it, and then we just uh, have a little cookie cutter, basically, and we just cut it out. Awesome. And then we marinate it. It breaks down the beet a little bit um, uh -huh. and adds some nice acidity to go with the beet's natural sweetness. We just lay them out, overlapping on a plate. Just a little bit of our fine herbs. And then we make a salad. So we would take our arugula here, a nice mm -hmm. little toss of pine nuts. We take our beets here, and we just use them all, why not? <laughs> our roasted tomato just adds a little more sweetness. And then this gets our lemon vinaigrette, a little salt, a little bit of fresh pepper. Then Cal heats things up with a little vegetable stock. And this is gonna be the temperature difference in the dish. And we take just a little butter sauce just to add a little fat to the dish. This goes right over the top of the beets. So they sit in just a little hot liquid, and we take our salad. Oh, how beautiful. And this gets finished with a little bit of basil oil. Maybe a little dot there, a little dot there, a little dot there. It's so, so fancy. There you go. Yeah, it's a cute little dish. The first reaction your mouth's gonna have is the hot liquid is gonna hit you, and then all of a sudden you're gonna get the nice pop from the raw beet, and then the goat cheese is gonna like mellow your mouth out. That is amazing. Oh. I could eat this every day. <laughs> it's good. so good. You, there's no reason you shouldn't. I'm gonna keep eating. You don't have to roll through the whole thing. 
Today's cow's feet ravioli is seriously delicious and super fancy. So what we're gonna do is incorporate his flavors into a beet salad that's easy enough for even a first time beet maker. The first step is cleaning the beets. I have two medium sized red beets and two medium sized golden beets. So the first thing we have to do is take these tops off. Give them a twist like that. Now I'm just gonna give them a little trim. Take these bottoms off. Okay, so these are all clean and ready to roast, so I'm just gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then I'm just gonna cover them nice and tight. Okay, so these are ready to pop in the oven at 425 degrees for about an hour. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make my shallot vinaigrette. Combine two tablespoons of minced shallot, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of honey, a quarter cup of white wine vinegar, champagne vinegar works too, a half cup of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, and then you're done. All right, now onto my herbed goat cheese. I have about four ounces of cheese here, and to that, I'm going to add fine herbs. Start by chopping some chives. All right, onto the dill. and top it off with some freshly ground black pepper. So mix it all together and that's that. All right, now that my beets are roasted and cooled, it is time for the rubber gloves. Just slip the skin right off. See how it just comes right off. Now the beets are gonna bleed a ton, so we're gonna slice them separately, starting with the golden beets. If you don't have a mandolin, feel free to just slice them thinly with a knife. All right, onto the red in a separate bowl. So now I'm just gonna pour a little bit of our shallot dressing over the beets, enough to coat them. They're very delicate, so just be careful. Onto the red. And I have plenty of dressing left over to use with my wild arugula. And you only want to dress this right before you're gonna use it because you don't want the arugula to wilt. All right, we have all of our components ready to build our beautiful beet salad. We are gonna start by alternating the beets. This is enough for four small salads. Add a nice helping of some spicy arugula on top, a sprinkling of toasted pine nuts, and last but not least, crumbled herbed goat cheese. Finish it with a little bit of sea salt and a touch of black pepper. And there it is, roasted beet salad with arugula and goat cheese. So don't be intimidated. Face your fears and just beat it. You'll be happy you did. For more information on today's recipes, visit hungryinbrooklyn.com. Mmm, want some Jamesy?